So today you're going to learn about the HTTP status code 200, what it is, why it's important and what to do about it. We're going to go through a little bit of an overview on web protocol basics and then dive into the HTTP status code 200. I'm Tommy Griffith with clickminded.com. Let's get going. So before we dive into the 200 status code, I just want to do a brief overview on web protocol basics. The internet is made up really of two core things and that's clients and servers, right? So you have clients, web clients, that's your browser, right? Maybe it's Chrome, maybe it's Firefox, maybe it's Safari. If you're a godforsaken human being, maybe it's Internet Explorer. But if you're, <laughs> you're usually accessing the internet through one of these clients, right? Whenever you request a website, you're usually making a request from a web server. You make a request and the server responds. That's happening every single time you're clicking a link. You make this request using what we call the HTTP protocol. Okay, so protocols are really just standards that everyone on the internet has agreed to. It's no different than English or Spanish or Chinese. It's a language that we've all agreed to, right? So a client makes a request to the server, what happens next? Status codes let us know whether the request was a success, a failure, or something in between, right? That's what an HTTP status code is. Okay, so let's jump into each one of these next. So the 100 block, these are informational requests. Uh, the 200 block, those are successful requests. The 300 block are gonna be for redirects, redirection. 400 block will be for client errors and 500 block will be for server errors. 200 block requests, these are successful requests. Usually you're gonna see your 200, status code 200 the most. There's a couple of other ones, created, accepted, reset, or partial, but in general, a 200 request is great. That means everything happened like planned, and that's usually what you're going for. Let's talk about the 200 now. The HTTP status code 200 means success, right? This is what you want. The HTTP status code 200 is fantastic. It means a well-functioning URL is responding and everything is working, right? So users, bots, everything else that you want to be requested and be served is correctly being served. The vast majority of the time, you want to be going for an HTTP status code 200. So if you're seeing that, it's a good thing. No issues here at all. And so that's really it. That is an HTTP status code 200, nothing to it. So I hope that was useful, if it was helpful, and if you learned something today, go ahead and click subscribe down below for even more digital marketing tactics and tips. If you're on YouTube, we'd love to hear a comment from you. Are you having problems with HTTP status codes? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for more information on HTTP status codes, go ahead and click the link down below to clickminded.com. We have a comprehensive status code guide as a free downloadable that you can have. Thanks a lot.